Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Chapter 11. Hi Erin, I have been so bad of late keeping in touch. I have just, oh I'm just terrible at it in general. But I've just been super busy with work and just feeling really run down and all that jazz. So I've not really been doing much on the internet. Let's change that. I missed last week's video because I'm just a complete doofus. Um, I'm newly blonder. I've always been blonde but dark. So I'm going to blame it on my blondness for being late last week. I decided to do this video instead because why not? And also announce that from May, which is now May, going forwards, me and Erin will be on a fortnightly schedule. So I'll start because I missed last week and then not next week, but the week after, Evan will upload a video. Just a little bit easier because, you know, life and blah, blah, blah. So today, I wanted to share with you, like, some helpful writing books that I have enjoyed. Because writing is fun, but sometimes you kind of just need a little bit of help getting through and kind of with technique and things, you know, I don't know. So, I have some books here. I've got this um, Your Writing Coach book by Jürgen Wolf, which is kind of helps you develop characters and pitch stories and there's helpful things like how to get published in there. I've never fully read the book. I always just dip in and out of things like this. So, um, it's a really good book and it's got some good writing tips and things to do, tasks and things in there. So I would recommend anybody wanting to write or just like if you're interested to read this. Um yeah, I think it's great. It's all it tells you how to write for a lot of different kind of genres as well, which is always helpful. Don't stick to one genre, just spread yourself out. <laughs> Speaking of doing things, um different tasks and challenges and stuff I have this The Five Minute Writer by Margaret Geraghty, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and it's exercises in how to write. So it's just little things like um, it gives you a prompt and then you do the prompt. It's a pretty good book. It's good to get your creative juices flowing and just practice writing. Um, I'm terrible for this. People always say you should write every day. I write things every day. I don't particularly work on one thing all the time every day, but it is helpful to try and, you know, write as much as you can. <laughs> Just write anything, it doesn't matter. Um, this is an old one, but I forget which way my hand goes to get in frame because I'm awful. I got this in 2012, that was forever ago. It's the Writers, Art and, Writers and Artists Yearbook. It has um, publishers' names, agents' names, just stuff about writing and how to get published and like who to approach and what the process is. It gives you prompts and stuff, and they release a new one every year with updated. I mean, they're massive, with updated publishers and contact information for agents and everything. So it's really helpful to have if you're looking to get published. Um, obviously, I am at some point. This is now out of date, so I'm going to have to. I don't know, get a new one? It just seems like a waste of money. I don't know. Good to have, though, because it does actually help you with things. Um, another book that I couldn't find on my bookshelves, but I know I have it because I'm sure when I did my bookshelf tour, I pointed it out, and I can't bother to be watching that video to find out, is the Stephen King a Memoir and On Writing which is his book about his life, but also helpful things about writing. And I like Stephen King for his quirkiness. I've never got through, I don't think, like a full book of his, because he writes a lot of words, and he's very descriptive. Where I'm like, I love fast-paced, and he's very slow-paced. It works for some people, some people enjoy that. I can't read his stuff, but his book on writing is fantastic. It's like one of the best things I've ever read. He's hilarious, and it's just 
nice to see somebody's point of view. He's been so successful, and it's not through luck. Um, not through luck at all. It's completely hard work, dedication, and all that jazz. And it's just nice to read. But that's I think that is like the best tool that I've ever I could ever say to have as writing. As far as writing goes, I need to learn how to speak. Evidently. Um, and then finally, the most important book that you can ever have is your notebook, or wherever you write notes. I have loads of these dotted around. This one's my favourite because it's... Um, I don't know if this is upside down. It possibly is. All Work and No Play makes Jack a dull boy. From The Shining. Speaking of. Um, I always have notebooks with ideas written in, character descriptions, song lyrics. I write a lot of song lyrics, poems. Just writing in general that can kind of give you some inspiration. So I would say that of all the books that help me write, <laughs> these are the ones. Um, this, I'm sorry, that my voice is so croaky, I think I'm coming down with something. <coughs> also, it's late. I really should go. Erin, I will see you in two weeks, but I will talk to you before then, and sorry that I've been rubbish. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.